We have some new information about the five people who were uh, killed in a plane crash that crashed into Lake Okeechobee. We have learned that four of them were attorneys at the Peterson Bernard Law Firm and were here in Tampa for a meeting. News Channel 8's Gabrielle Shirley joining us now live from Tampa International Airport where that charter plane took off. Gabrielle? Well, Rod, we know that that group flew from the East Coast here to Tampa to meet with a new client. Their plane crashed on the way home. The firm will continue. The firm will never be the same. That firm, Peterson Bernard, lost its founder and three of its attorneys around 3.30 Friday afternoon. To lose one of these individuals would have been terrible, and to lose four is, is just uh, almost beyond our comprehension. A co-worker, Bill Martin, tells me he got a call from a concerned office manager. They hadn't heard from these folks and that uh, on the news somebody had seen a, uh, that a plane went down on the lake. So I, I dismissed the uh, coincidence and figured it couldn't possibly be anyone from our firm, but I was wrong. 36-year-old Matthew Fiorello, 43-year-old Heather Bridwell, 54-year-old Edwin or Ted Mortel III, and the founder of the firm, 73-year-old Eric Peterson. Martin knew both Peterson and Mortel for more than 30 years. Eric Peterson in particular to me was just uh, sort of a hero. You know, he was a, a, a fun person. He was a smart person. Uh, he was a fair person. The two other attorneys were newer members of the firm. Both of them were, were very, very special people. Uh, Matt left two young children, um, just a couple of years old. Heather has a daughter only slightly older, maybe, uh, I know she's um, elementary school age. The niece of the pilot, 54-year-old Eduardo Moulet, tells us he had been flying since he was 15 years old. It was, it, it was his passion. He, he, had, um, he had a full-time job as an IT, but he flew every single day. She says he was the patriarch of her family. I'm going to miss his spirit. I've never met anybody in my life with such a spirit. Ever. He would push me to be a better person every day of my life. I'm going to miss that. And that was really the theme with all of the people who perished in that crash. Family members, friends, they tell us they are really going to miss them because they were so special. Now, Martin, he says funeral arrangements for the attorneys who died in this crash will be posted on the company's website. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. I'm reporting live here in Tampa. Gabrielle Shirley, News Channel 8.